don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so the system went well and I was able to record the video. So luckily everything is good. All right, so let's go ahead and start our task. The first thing will be add a number. So I'm going to add a function which will add a number. So let me copy and paste that function for you. This is the function. I don't need this at the moment. So I'll remove it. So let's quickly go through the function. So added, that means that have I added or not? That's what this means. So it will be false in the beginning because you have not placed any number like two or four inside the grid. So grid full right now you don't need to uh, take like worry about this. But yeah, let's go to attempts. Don't worry about it right now. But let, uh, take a look at this one. So till you don't add anything, till we don't have a added, this thing doesn't change it is going to go uh, go ahead and find two random numbers between 0 to 3 because the array start from 0 1 2 3 and it's going to find two random uh, <coughs> numbers and attempt is going to increment every time and if that particular number is 0 then place 2 or 4 and this is again a random uh, number generator between this random num number is between 0 to 1 that could be anywhere the center point would be 0 0.5 so if it is greater than so this is totally random so if you don't get it just let me know and once you add it we are going to change the added to true so if your tr uh, added is true the while loop is going to break and that's pretty much it and it's going to set the grid I, I don't think it's gonna set a grid because this is an like a dummy function which doesn't set a grid so it is just going to return a new array to the initial initialize so let's go ahead and create any like copy and paste the initialize it is a pretty simple function what it does is initially it takes in the new grid as a clone deep of the data data is our state so right now we are having the new state everything new grid and in add number i'm going to add a value into the grid in second add number i'm going to add another value and at set state i'm going to directly set the grid so let's do that first of all i'm going to remove the set table set uh, console table uh, will have a console table so we'll see what happens here what happens here and yep so to call these I'll go go ahead and create a use effect and in this use effect we will have a first to a function and second to call it whenever we are like this is more of like a component did mount so okay so first of all I'm going to have initialize and I think that's pretty much it because initialize is going to add and okay let's see this should change uh, maybe the development server is not running so import export may only appear on the top level okay so where did something go wrong line number 120 120 export default app export is good let me see where exactly the issue is okay I see something some no oh, okay the red line is just here maybe I didn't close something or what could be the issue oh yeah maybe no this is not let's put this thing into pretty pie and see Okay, so it is throwing some error somewhere. We don't exactly know what it is, but let us see. So this is closed. This is closed. 
Oh, okay. So see, you don't have a return statement here somewhere because the grid closes here. Not the grid, but the block. So I need to close it here while if if is for this one. So I'm not closing it, I guess. Okay, so let's try and do this. So I think the error is gone. A deep clone is not defined. Okay, it's because we haven't called it yet. So, where is deep clone? Deep clone. Deep clone. Okay, clone deep. All right, it's going to import automatically and new grid. Okay, this should work table so see we have these items being placed if you see the console so bring it at the bottom and we don't have a table at this point but you see the first console both the consoles are showing you that it was initialized right away but let's quickly okay so this is a table and two first you have two and then you have two and two that's it that's pretty much it okay so let's go ahead and add swipe left to our function so I'm copying and pasting swipe left where is swipe left here so first will be let's have swipe left then I'll have another function called swipe right I'll have another function swipe up swipe down okay so swipe left is going to have this particular function and old grid grid I think we will need it just to keep a uh, keep check and it doesn't harm at this point so this is the exact formula which I showed you in the in the algorithm uh, video so this don't worry about the add, add number you'll need it because sometimes what happens is let's say if my placements are here two and two there's nothing here so if I swipe left it's just gonna have four and here let's say we have or that's not a good example let's imagine a scenario where this is two and this is four and you cannot go beyond this because there is an empty or zero here let me show you with a example I don't wanna just talk anything okay so inspect I'm going to clear this thing four I don't need four I'll just need zero okay so in this case you you think that there is a four zero zero so if I swipe left I am not supposed to see a new addition because the left swapping is not possible so in that case what happens is that you should not add a new number and that's exactly what this checking does that check with a previous array old grid if this and the new array it matches in that case don't do anything don't add a number that's it that's pretty much what this guy is doing so don't worry about it you'll take a look at the code and you'll figure out what exactly I mean so let's go to the next one so I'm gonna quickly copy right left down and up so give me a moment after right I'm just going to add all of them so all of them are added we have up we have down we have right and we have left so that's it for the like move moments okay so now there's going to be another function which will be called as a move movement function I can say or I can say handle key down function so anytime if I press left right up or down on the keyboard it should uh, it should trigger an event and that event will be the swipes so const handle key down 
and this is an event which it's an event right so event and what do we need to pass in here is switch not swipe left but switch and switch for what so switch for event dot key code so that this is exactly what we saw before for with the numbers so if the case is up arrow do we have that number here let me see okay we don't have that number but let me I think we haven't discussed it in this video maybe the one which I never was able to record in that video so here are the numbers you don't need a stop thing so left arrow will have a key number key code uh, down will have a key code up will have a key code left and right so these are the key code numbers so if these are pressed what should happen is the these functions should trigger okay so let me go ahead and key event okay up arrow if this thing triggers what am i supposed to do so let me open my code is right there so swipe up and after this you are supposed to break it break case so you you pretty much got the point so let me copy and paste the code which i have here so this is what you do handle key down event switch check for a key code if the case is stopped break it so we don't have a stop sign right so for for this one we will remove it if the case is key up our up arrow swipe up down arrow swipe down left arrow swipe left right and by you are supposed to have a default or else you'll get a linting error so it will break that's it for this one so now let's go ahead and the thing is that this will work you won't have any issue when you are no you will have issue because I'll, I'll tell you why so let me go ahead and I'll do one thing document dot add event listener and on key down handle key down so this is a function which you trigger so this trigger happens every time when you load a document so it will it might it might not uh, I don't think so it will do the trick so okay see it goes away you don't see anything because the thing is that when you load a document and the event listener is attached to it there are some issues so to handle this issue we need to create a hook manual hook we need to custom hook we need to add it so I'm going to have a custom uh, util JS from in this util JS I'm going to add a hook which is let me show you what hook it is so my hook name will be where is it okay my hooks name will be use event because hooks are uh, hooks are custom hooks are supposed to have use in it so I'll have use effect import it from react so export constant use effect use effect and window event so this is what we were doing in the previous one so we are creating a hook add event is event listener have the event here have the handler here and this is very important to clean up the event once you unmount it so this will this won't cause any issues to our component so if I have the use event exported so I can easily call it so use event so it will be imported directly and what event do you want so key down what is the function handle key down this is a function I want to pass and that is it you might just want to initialize the, fun the grid and it will start working so let's see 8 see 
so the, if you if you don't understand what's going on so see this if I go left it should if I go I was trying to point on the screen but okay so if I go left here you should see four and somewhere around you can see two or four if I go left you see four and you see two here now the thing is if I go up so you should see four here two here and then four or two somewhere around four and two so and two is somewhere here if I go down you'll see four four and uh, four here and four and two somewhere at a different place see so this means that your event or your functions are working correctly and if you have any doubt, because this would be, if I if I want to explain you a lot, it, it might go super long. But I'm going to stop this right now. Just want to check if the recordings are done. And I'll see you in just a bit.